Hey besties, welcome back. We're back for episode two. It's called Large and In Charge. And you can watch it on TLC and Discovery Plus. We pick up exactly where we left off. It's time for Vanessa's weigh in. She's nowhere near ready for surgery, unfortunately. Vanessa says she's trying to get to the point where she wakes up and doesn't immediately have to piss herself. Girl, I do that all the time. It ain't no thing. That's what showers are for, girl. We in this together. So Dr. Proctor tells Jacob that he needs to be there in support of his mother and they can both lose weight together in preparation for weight loss surgery. All right, this is my favorite part. I've been waiting for this ever since I saw the sneak peek. I love going to the pool and I love seeing confidence at the pool because like I get really self-conscious too. They all go on the big slide and though it's possible they could get stuck, they tread onward. Now Vanessa unfortunately has a hard time getting up the steps, but Tina and Ashley are there to cheer on, yay. I freaking love Tina and Ashley. They seem really sweet and look like they're so much fun to be around. So unfortunately, Vanessa weighs too much to get on the slide. The weight limit is 350 and Vanessa comes in at 440. Poor Nessa. If I were there, I would have just grabbed you, put you on my back and we would have slid down the slide together. We would have pushed that mean pool worker off the damn thing. How dare he embarrass her like that? At least she made it up and down the stairs. That's an accomplishment on its own. So after saying a group prayer, Megan, Ashley, and Tina go down the slide. We literally got these big girls going down that water slide. It just looks too cute. I wish I could have been there. So when they get down, the girls comfort Vanessa and they tell her that she needs to shake her shitty sister. They straight up tell her that her sister needs her own life and that it may be toxic with Vanessa living there. So they have this registered nurse chick. I don't like her already. Basically chaperone Megan and Vanessa grocery shopping. I mean, it's tough. Like I think that mozzarella sticks are keto because it's cheese, but it's really not because there's bread on it. It's slapping y'all. Now Vanessa gets all honest on us. Vanessa says her addiction is a demon that she has to control. Yes, Vanessa, send all those demons back to hell. So I'm getting the vibe that these girls are faith-based and I really, really love seeing that, especially on national television. Way to go, hallelujah. Okay, but Jackie, uh, Vanessa's sister is a straight up feeder. You know what a feeder is? I think we all know what a feeder is. She gets off on feeding Vanessa junk food, plates of donuts, fast food, sugar, everything she doesn't need. I haven't seen a feeder like that since Jerry and Tammy. Oh, that was bad. Thank God they broke up. But Jackie ain't dumb though. And from the looks of her, it looks like she knows a thing or two about addiction. She knows what she's doing to her sister. Now Megan and Vanessa go see that one famous therapist. I'm pretty sure I've seen her on Thousand Pound Sisters. I know this therapist is good. She makes freaking everybody cry. Everybody and their mom and their dog. They're all crying. Ah, I wish I could go there and take care of some of my issues. So I did notice that they use a different camera or lens or whatever, like when they switch to the therapist scene, it looks so professional, it looks like a Dr. Phil episode. I'm really loving it. So basically the therapist makes Vanessa and Megan cry, but it's all for a good reason because they're working out their issues. And after that much needed therapy session, they both leave feeling a lot lighter and happier. So now Vanessa's considering moving out of her sister Jackie's house. And that may be the only way that Vanessa and Jacob can succeed. It's not just Vanessa's journey now, Jacob's trying to lose weight too. So next time the besties go to a gym to work out and Ashley goes to see Dr. Proctor. Now Ashley had previously gotten the gastric sleeve in 2014, did lose some weight, but failed to maintain her weight by not keeping up with the exercises. We will see what happens next. All right, Vanessa, Megan, Tina, and Ashley, you guys are the best. I wanna be there with you guys. I am one of the best friends. Don't worry, I'm not mad at you that I wasn't there for girls night, but maybe we can do something for season two or something like that, I don't know. Just throwing it out there. All right, guys, I know you love this show as much as I do. I'll be back next week to do another recap. Okay, bye-bye.